Hey, Skormag. Thanks for the three streams streak. I wanted to say three stream steak. Enjoy your three stream steak. Oh, I can't even say that. <laughs> Could you hear me moving the table? I don't know what this music is. I bet it's from Tears of the Kingdom. It's nice. Oh, there it goes. Goodbye. You know what, I've already almost finished my water, so hold on, I'm gonna go refill it. I'm here for real now. It's time. It's time. Now. Oh, excuse me. I have never played Breath of the Wild on Switch before. Because when I played it, I didn't have a Switch yet. I had a I had a Wii U. So um that's what I played Breath of the Wild on. But I've heard that if you did play Breath of the Wild on Switch, then your horse carries over into Tears of the Kingdom. And I want that to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> so, my brother has very graciously let me borrow his Switch copy of Breath of the Wild. And I'll be playing it. This is also good because Breath of the Wild only lets you have one save, I think. So this means that I won't have to delete my 100% <laughs> Wii U save in order to play again. Oh yeah, I was playing Pokemon Home. Because the last thing I did on the Switch was I caught Petra Run and I transferred it over to Home. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to see what the volume's like on this game. As to whether I need to... Uh, turn it up or not Nintendo's presenting something The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Is this what it does the first time you boot it? I don't remember it's been a long time since I first booted this. Open your eyes. It does seem very quiet. I don't know if it's supposed to be quiet right now. Oh, I heard a voice. Oh. I forgot this one had voice acting. Wake up, Link. He's waking up again. Every game starts with Link waking up. He's a sleepy boy. That's canon to every Link. Hey, Steve. No, I'm not going to go directly to Ganon. I'm not that brave. I think Joe's tried that. I don't know if he succeeded. <clears throat> it 
it feels weird to be holding a switch controller. I'm used to holding a Wii U gamepad for this. Alright, it seems quiet, doesn't it? It's really quiet. You love this summer marathon? You don't even hear it? Yeah, I can barely hear it. Alright, I'm gonna go turn it up. I'll be right back. You hear something now? Alright, let's see. Let's see if this is a good enough. Alright, I hear footsteps. How's that volume? Is that good? I guess it's hard to tell because there's not a lot happening. These are the loudest noises I can get right now. <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Let me, let me know if it ever gets too loud or if it needs to be turned up even more. I think the game's supposed to be a little bit quiet that right now. Is a Sheikah slate. Is it? Take it. I will. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Okay. I think that's Zelda's voice, right? Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to have to do as much reading this time. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there is something familiar about it. <clears throat> I think it still might be a little bit quiet, but you'll let me know what you think. Well worn trousers, I know. Sweet, and get dressed up. Yeah, let's put these on. Try to look at my stream volume. How do I leave? Oh. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Okay, it looks like the volume's probably okay right now. Need new clothes for when Link wakes up. How about these well-worn trousers? Uh, what I want to know is who well wore them? Whose well-worn trousers am I well wearing? It doesn't look like they were Link's because look how short they are. <laughs> and the sleeves are real short. These, this, these clothes are for a much shorter person. Link. Yes? You are the light. Our light that must shine upon high rule once again. All right, stop. Now go. So putting all this pressure on me. <clears throat> you think these were Tingle's clothes? All oh, right, I can jump in this game. Oh, it's gonna be so weird to get used to this after. I gotta get used to this game again. I haven't played it in a long time. Skipping up the stairs. <laughs> oh yeah, this game didn't have a title screen. I, I know this game does have a title screen if you come back to it. Like, it, it just didn't have a title screen because... I, I think that's become common now for games. When you boot them up for the very first time, they just kind of toss you in without giving you a main menu or anything. They were always meant for Link. Tingle just made sure they were worn in. 
Yeah, yeah, like a cold open. Yeah. A lot of games do that now. I think the recent Pokemon games have been doing it too. Ah, I have a stick now. And there's a mushroom. Oh, Hylian Shroom. I want to get those ones too. Yeah! Oh, another stick. Oh, that one's a tree branch plus. I didn't... I did not read that. Okay. No, it wasn't a tree branch plus. I'm just crazy. I don't even know if tree branch plus exists now that I think about it. Lizard! Where'd he go? Oh, I lost him. Is that a squirrel? It's going nuts! It's going nuts! Where'd he go? I hear a cricket or something. Oh, there's more mushrooms. <clears throat> and another stick. I swear it said tree branch plus when I picked it up. And that boulder. Oh! <laughs> I wanted to climb on it. I feel like I'm discovering this game for the first time. It's been so long. I forgot you could just push boulders around. Oh no. It's not where I meant for it to go. I hear a cricket. That's not why. That's not what I meant to be. How do you? Whoops. Oh. Hello. All right. That's what I was looking for. Wait, what? Link. Link, are you just crouching in the bushes? Head for the point. I can see you. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, I'm exploring. No! <laughs> Look at these bugs. Link, I didn't wake you up so you could crouch in the bushes and look for bugs. Oh, I... Mm, tried to grab it. I'm hearing a cricket. Where is it? I don't hear it. No oh! Well, whatever. I don't know where it is. I love how I was like, this. I'll get through this game much quicker than uh, than I got through Skyward Sword, and immediately I'm just like, whoa, what's all this? What am- Oh, bugs? Let's catch bugs. In Skyward Sword, I never really wanted to do anything, and then I get into this one, and I'm like, get all the apples, get all the mushrooms. I want to catch every bug. All right. Speak to the old man. Does he have voice acting? <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Bye. Oh. Wait. Where are you rushing off to now? Is speaking with a strange old man truly such an awful use of your time? What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Bye. Hmm. Well, do as you like, then. <laughs> a stick. <coughs> well, then, just help yourself to that torch there. <laughs> And how may I ask, are you planning to use it to set things on fire? Duh. That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch would make a good weapon if need be. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. That's cool. Thanks, old man. You got any other stuff I can take like this? Baked apple. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple in an open flame make for a succulent treat. 
thanks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just like offers you all that stuff if you talk to him. Which is what I did the first time I played, but now I'm just like... Hold. Oops. Hold on, I did it wrong. Did it work? Didn't work. Didn't work! I got it wrong. Okay, hold. Add. Return to game. Drop. And it won't stay in the fire, it keeps rolling out. Hmm. Yes? What is this place? This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. You didn't have to do a cutscene, I was looking. Oh, I wasn't hmm. looking at that. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Hey, I've heard of that game. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Cool, I'm gonna go check it out. Thanks, old man. Oh, an axe! sure how. I thought I was doing what it just told me to, but maybe I should have read it more thoroughly. Nope. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, I think, um, I know it's been ages since you said this score, man. <laughs> I was really engrossed. But yeah, I think you're right. I think it is because this game is is more intuitive. My tree branch is badly damaged. Oh, it broke. Good thing there's another one. Ooh. So I got into Skyward Sword and I, I didn't like how it controlled at all. So I didn't really want to play it for any longer than I had to. But I get into this one and I'm like, this feels good. This feels fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, slime. Hey. Got choo choo jelly, though. I'll use that to make a dessert. There are some things that are taking me some time to get used to because I don't know how much of it is that uh, it's different than the Wii U one was, or just that I don't remember. How do you... Ah. Throw. I thought it would break. Maybe I have to throw it against something. No? Maybe I just have to bash the hell out of it. I'm not strong enough to break this yet. Well, maybe with my axe. There we go. Hey! A cooked steak. Wonder how long that's been in there. That's not probably gross at all. Hey, get back up here. <laughs> we all right <clears throat> what is that who's rustling 
I hear any like frogs or something? Hello. I've come to visit. My club. <laughs> you can't have it back. Yeah, you better go. Oh! What were they storing you for? Is he coming back or... I see his health bar over there. Oh, he's coming. Okay. Hello. <laughs> you must have fallen a while, huh? <laughs> wow. Oh. All right. What did I win? Well, the bacteria cooked off a hundred years ago. <laughs> oh, Hylian trousers. Yeah. Oh, look how awful I look. <laughs> Who's that beige fella running up the hill? <laughs> oh, I might as well take the stairs. <clears throat> Temple of Time. Oh, maybe I don't need to be here. I thought I needed to be here since it was pointed out to me, but I'm now noticing there's a quest marker that's nowhere near here. Beige's Link's color. Yeah, imagine though. Imagine if instead of green, they had given him a beige tunic and hat in the first game. <laughs> and that had just continued. Beige of the wild. Oh, look at these freaks. They're doing the meat cooking dance. I won't interrupt it. Apples. <laughs> I love I love just jumping to grab the apples. <laughs> Slime. It's not slime time. Ah, oh, watch this though. <laughs> what happened? Oh, that was just, you can't even blame that on anything. Yeah, like, he's just like, oh well, shit happens, I guess. I don't know if I can sneak up on him. Ah, he heard that. <laughs> I thought he might. My club. You get the other one too. Both mine. What do you want? Missed. All oh, right, I guess I'm supposed to head for... You know, I, I'm i pretty sure I did the exact thing. Was it Beige in Skyward Sword too? I don't know, it's been so long since I started it. I don't actually remember. Um, I'm realizing that I did the exact same thing the first time I played, where I like went to the Temple of Time immediately, thinking that's where I was supposed to be. Um... <clears throat> and then once I got there, I was like, "Wait a minute! That, that's not where the quest marker is at all." And I've done it. I've done it again. Oh, there's all those skull houses. Those things are cool. I'm slipping into old habits. I was very much a stealth guy when I first played this. I spent pretty much the whole game. Wearing the Sheikah stealth outfit. Sneaking up on people and doing stuff like that. Oh! Sword. And a shell. Okay. 
<clears throat> I love the music of this game, but I wouldn't trade any of the like old Zelda music for this music. I prefer the the soundtracks of like Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker and stuff over this one. But the soundtrack to this one is very good for what they were trying to do for this game. Alright, here we go. Take me to space. getting sonic noises in my Zelda experience. Now we're getting Pokemon music. Stop! Mm. Got Pokemon sleep open. <clears throat> Distilling local information. Distilling? Oh yeah! That's cool. I like the way they worked in the, like, treasure chest opening music. Regional map extracted. I kind of forgot about all the Ubisoft tower climbing stuff. It's been so long since I did it. Remember. Oh. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <sighs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. I never really found this Ganon as scary Before as they wanted it's me to. Too late. They obviously wanted this to be like the scariest Ganon that there had ever been, but. Oh uh, no. I don't know if they succeeded. I always like Ganon more as a. as a human than a beast. I always thought he was more interesting as a human. Can I just like... yeah. Yeah, there we go. My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? Ah. Hmm. Seems I've got some work to do as far as earning your trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many, so many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. 
There it festers, building its strength. For the moment, it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Oh. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? I guess. <clears throat> <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over! <laughs> oh, certainly, why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. I already stole from you twice, old man. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Come, let me show you something. Where are we going? Um, you want to show me that thing? Oh, do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Okay. What is that? What is that? Oh, probably just those fish. Flipping and flopping around. Da, 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 jump! No. Uh -oh. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't mind. See, I didn't like the stamina in Skyward Sword because it felt pointless. It felt like it was just there to be a nuisance. And, uh, oh man! A shrine! <laughs> um. <clears throat> but in this one, um, the stamina feels like it has more of a purpose. What bugged me about the stamina in Skyward Sword is that any time you needed stamina, they put the fruits around anyway. Everywhere. So it was like, just annoying. <laughs> it was just there to make you go slightly out of your way and pick up a fruit. <coughs> I don't know why there was a part of me then that was like, oh... What's the button to skip the loading screen? <laughs> to you who sets foot in this shrine, I am all man. Aw, in the name of the goddess highly, I offer this trial. Magnesis trial. Do I have Magnesis? Oh, am I going to get it here? Yeah, distill that rune. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what that button's for. Oh. <clears throat> I kind of forgot about all the Sheikah Slate. 
stuff. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I heard you. I actually got my shield out by accident there, but it worked. I, what button was it that I used? <laughs> it's that one, okay. Wait, so is shield the same button as target? That seems odd. Ancient screw! <clears throat> Hmm, yeah, the same button you use to target things. You use to use the shield, which seems odd. So it means that if you're targeting something, you're automatically holding up the shield. No, don't close. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Give me that treasure. <clears throat> you have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Old Man Ah, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. Are you like dead, or...? The name of Goddess... In the name of Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. <clears throat> Please accept this spirit orb. <laughs> <laughs> His face. All right. May the goddess smile upon you. <clears throat> what is it I need? I need like 13 hearts or something to be able to pull the master sword. I can't remember. I just remember that it's a pain in the butt. Oh! Oh! Hi. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. Paraglider, please. <laughs> I encourage you to slow down for a moment, my courageous friend. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Hmm. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Paraglider, please. Hmm. I have yet to finish speaking. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Hmm. Oh? Well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always hmm. best to survey the, survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Ooh. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Hmm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Yeah, alright. 
<clears throat> Bye, old man. Da 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 da. Oh! How did you beat me here, old man? <laughs> I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you <laughs> leave an old man his secrets? Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, no, by accident. The pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. How do you uh -huh. know? Experience, wisdom, instinct? Call it what you will and believe it only if you so please. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Yeah, I'm gonna. What the? Okay, so this has the same problem that I have with Skyward Sword where it's like, oh, well, there's one. Um, where it's like uh, when you go into a first person view it points in the direction the camera's facing rather than the direction Link is facing and I would always prefer it to point the direction that Link is facing personally aha is that all of them I'm going to go ahead and put one in that tower too I think those things are down off the plateau. And I think that tower might not be on the plateau either. I'm not sure though. Maybe it is. No, it can't be because the towers are all tied to maps, aren't they? I think I marked all the shrines. <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> yeah, I know. God, I gotta climb down carefully. Because nobody will give me a paraglider yet. I could be soaring through the sky gracefully right now. Alright, we're gonna go over to this one first. Because it seemed to be the closest one. Got it. Delicious. I'll eat that later. Oh, another one. Oops. I'm already like here, here. So. to you than I'd like. Does it know that I'm here? Yeah. Yeah, it knows.
Like, will it always just be facing me? No. Oh, oh. No. Okay. Can I climb this? Go around behind it. Oh, I can climb this. For some reason I thought this wall was unclimbable. Okay. <clears throat> Let me in. L Let me in. If you jump while your shield is out, you can climb aboard it using A. What is this? Bombs? To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Jabaij. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. I think this is the bombs one. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. I forgot about the square bombs. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Whoops. Oh, right. And they don't just blow up on their own. That one seemed to. <laughs> Oh wait, what's over there? It'll take me a while to get used to the fact that A is no longer throw. In every other game, you just hit A while running to throw it. My inventory is full! Already? Well, I don't want that stick. <clears throat> there we go. Let's just equip. So. No way. I want to equip. My Boko sword is badly damaged, but I've never even used it. Oh, I see. What button was it? It's this one. Where's that ladder? I know it was... Quick, 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 quick! Oh! <clears throat> I love the way he skips. <laughs> Fills me with so much joy. Okay. There's a ball bouncing back and forth. There's a chest over there. Whee! <laughs> oh, I missed.
There we go, that's more like it. Amber. <clears throat> I just noticed in the bottom right, it shows me how much noise I'm making, which is something I forgot was a thing. Ah! Will this fit in there? Not at all. <laughs> what does it want with this ball? It wouldn't just be here, would it? over there now. What's the ball for? <laughs> well, I brought him a ball <laughs> in case he wants it. <clears throat> Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Da -da -da -da. <clears throat> May the goddess smile upon you. Yeah, may she. Goodbye, sir. Hello, Jungle Juice Juno. No, I've played it before. Um, I am coming towards the end of marathoning the entire Zelda series. Um, ready to play. Uh tears of the kingdom for the first time so i started from zelda one which i had never finished before uh and i've worked my way through i didn't do all of them i did skip a couple in the end that i couldn't stream very easily but uh i've done most of them oh hey zelda how you doing <clears throat> so i started i started back in um Uh, June. <laughs> That's when I started Zelda 1. And, um... And now it's January, and I'm here. I didn't think it would take as long as this. I hoped I would be done by about September. <laughs> I kind of forgot how many Zelda games they are, there are and how long some of the later ones get. <clears throat> Like, I think I finished Ocarina of Time in four streams, and then it took me about ten streams to finish Skyward Sword. But I'm getting there. Yeah, it's Breath of the Wild now. We're almost done. And I am gonna... I've been thinking about it. What? Oh, no. It can see me. Okay. <clears throat> Won't watch Tears of the Kingdom because I still haven't finished it. Yeah, fair. I haven't watched any videos about Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't watched any streams or like YouTube videos about it or anything because I didn't want to see anything before I played it. So I, I get it. <laughs> um, but uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. I can give you some tips for this game if you need any. I think I'll be okay. I have 100%ed this game on the Wii U. 
Um, I just haven't played it on the Switch before. So, if there's any differences between the Wii U and Switch versions, then I might get tripped up by them, but uh, beyond that, like, I'm not going to 100% it again this time, I'm just going to do the basic story stuff. But uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've done all the shrines before, I've found all the Korok seeds before, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. The Wii U is faster for loading, really, I would have thought the opposite. I think it's just better draw distance and no bottom screen. I don't think they even really used the bottom screen for anything on the Wii U anyway. Because I remember thinking it was strange. Because uh, the Sheikah Slate, to me, feels like they designed it as like an analog for the Wii U gamepad. But then they don't really ever put it on the Wii U gamepad, even though it would make sense to. And I, I think they probably were planning to put it on the Wii U gamepad originally and they changed it when they decided to put it on the Switch as well so that it would be the same on both. Sneaking around, picking up some fireflies. Can I get that lizard? Can I get that lizard? Yeah! <laughs> lizard! Alright. Down oh, that's the old man's house, isn't it, or something? It's a house. I don't think I can get up there from here. I think I'm gonna go somewhere else. <clears throat> Tempted to get it on the Wii U now just to see how it feels. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zelda, for having a three-stream steak. Streak. 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 <laughs> I can't say it. Three-stream streak. There we go. A three-steak stream. Thank you. I need... I, I must be able to make an alert for that, right? It's, it feels weird that people are like sharing it in chat and there's no alert. Temperature is dangerously low. Uh oh. Well, let's not climb. Oh, wait, it's low all around here. How am I supposed to get to the shrine if it's so cold? Hey, losers. Yeah, yeah, what up? You wanna fight? You wanna fight about it? That's a big stick. I got too many weapons. Right, what are these? These are like... Spicy peppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so cook it, secrete dishes that will raise your body temperature. Okay, so this is the this is the deal. It wants me to learn about cooking. <clears throat> Used to be super mustache game. Oh, okay. Well, hello, Jungle Juice Juno. <laughs> I do remember you. But obviously didn't recognize the new name because I think this is the first time I've seen it. <laughs> How are you doing? I want to carve up... No, I'm just on fire. Oh, right. Oh, okay. So I have to light this, right? So I can cook with it. If I remember correctly. There we go. Past time by the fire. No, I don't want to. I just want to cook. Um, okay. Let's cook. Um, 
spicy mushrooms. So two mushrooms and three peppers. Cook them. Okay. Cold resistance for eight and a half minutes. That should be long enough. Cool. Eat that. Maybe I should have waited until I was like right there. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. This four years rough, but at least both my parents are okay with it. Well, that's good. Glad you have supportive parents. I feel like that's the... I feel like non-supportive parents are the biggest obstacle sometimes to uh, transition, right? It's always sad to hear about. Uh, da, 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 this way? Let's go this way. Oh no, dead end. <laughs> no, leave me alone. Don't even. There's a certain instrument in the battle music that sounds like a walkie-talkie <laughs> going off. Yeah, they didn't even spot me. I don't even need to fight. It's not like you get experience or anything, right? I just get horns and claws. I don't think that's going to hit anyone, but... But there it goes anyway. Alright, where is it? Where's this shrine I've heard so much about? Aha! Oh no! Oh, I survived! How did I survive? <laughs> Oh, it was such a long fall. How would I have been supposed to get to here? There has to have been a better way of doing that than what I just did, right? I don't even know. Let's activate this so I can fast travel up here in case I fall down. I have a friend who helped me come out of my shell and her parents aren't supportive of her. That sucks. That stinks. It's 2024, man. You know? <laughs> it's 2024! <laughs> What's up here? Um, maybe I was supposed to come at it from this direction? I mean, the cool thing about this game is that it doesn't really matter what you're, like, supposed to come at it from. You can just come at it from wherever the hell. And as long as you get there, it doesn't matter. But, uh... It's still interesting to see what kind of things that they thought people were going to do, you know? Did you hear my phone? Did you hear the sonic noise from my phone? I don't remember the last time I played Breath of the Wild. It might have been when the Ballad of the Champions DLC came out. Is that what it was called? That might have been the last time I played. Alright, let's just go in. I do have a steak. I should probably eat it. 2024 and mindless hate still the norm. Yeah, I feel like it's almost... Regressing. But, uh, but I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's, you know, the most common. I think, especially, I don't know where everybody is, but here in the UK, oh, hang on. 
So the set from the shot. Oh, a dime. Okay. Um, I don't know about like the rest of the world, but here in the UK, <clears throat> it's um, it's funny because like the people are, are trans inclusive and supportive. Whenever there's polls of the public, they're always very like trans positive. But the media does not want you to believe that's the case. So if you listen to the media, it sounds like, you know, the whole country doesn't support trans people. But uh, but if you actually look at the polls of the public and see what the public believes, the opposite is true. So <clears throat> Tears of the Kingdom have played since July. Man. Yeah, I've had Tears of the Kingdom since release. I pre-ordered it. But, uh... But, um... I haven't even unwrapped the plastic. Where is it? I think it's in my room. Um... Yeah, I pre-ordered it. I haven't, I haven't even opened it. So I've had it since it came out. But I guess I started this marathon around the time it came out, didn't I? I'm going to eat that steak because I don't want to hear this constantly. That's true, yeah. Yep, yeah, media and government are the problem. <laughs> Oh, did I mess up? Oh, I have to stop it here. Oh, that time I messed up. <laughs> it's not the case in France. Is France more inclusive? Or... You're always going to get... Like, I mean, we've still got... We've still got homophobic... Um, parliament members here. Which is wild, because... I feel like homophobia has been, you know, not okay for like 30 years. <laughs> I feel like we accepted in this country that it's not okay to think that way a long time ago. But you still have, you still have like people in positions of power who think that we shouldn't have same sex marriage and it's like, what do you mean? It's, it's too late. That ship has sailed. Stop trying to bring it up again. Oh, a hammer. I want to go further up. Don't fall on me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh man, that made my heart like stop. <laughs> I thought it got me. <laughs> Iron sledgehammer. I can't have it. I'm gonna have to <laughs> toss away some of these Boko clubs. I've got so many of them. Alright, I don't remember how to throw stuff. Is this it? There we go. There, I've thrown it into the abyss. He says Brighton, we're saying anything like that would like you get you banned from the city. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's so many places. It's really funny whenever they do these, like, anti-trans marches. Like, 12 people show up. I didn't mean to do that! Like, 12 people show up for the march. And then, like, 200 people show up to protest the march. <laughs> yeah! I saw an article by some prominent transphobe the other day. And the, the gist of the article was basically like, Feminism's main opposition is women! Women fighting against us trying to stop trans people are the real problem. And I'm like... Yeah. It, it, like, I look, I didn't read the whole article because I'm not going to read an article by a prominent transphobe. But uh, basically the gist of it from what people were saying was like... 
most of the people who are fighting against the TERFs are women. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> because women are generally more accepting of trans people and the polls show that, especially like lesbian women who the TERFs all say they're fighting for are the most accepting of trans people of any other group, so... But, you know... They'll die out. That's all it is. They're all old people set in their ways, and we just have to wait for them all to die off. Which is probably going to happen sooner rather than later, because most of them are also vaccine deniers. <laughs> Because if you're going to go all in on one conspiracy theory, you're going to go all in on several. Let's face it. They're at least a step away from being flat earthers most of the time. Right, where's this other one? Is it also up here in Cold Country, USA? My cold resistance is waning. Yeah, hey, uh, hey guys. I actually really don't have time to deal with you. I'm cold. <laughs> it sounds like something I'd say in real life. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to deal with you right now. I'm cold. <laughs> Can I just safely... Oh yeah, I love snow. <coughs> Younger generations leaving you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's what it's all going to come down to. Is Got to get rid of all these old people in positions of power, making things worse for everybody. Right. I'm cold now. I'm officially cold. I'm going to head back to that campfire. I wonder if it's still lit. No, it's not. But that's okay, I still have my torch. If they're gonna unlight the campfire, I feel like the least they could do is bring back the peppers. Okay. It's fine. Luckily, I didn't... Throw all my peppers in the last one. Oh yeah, spicy fruit and mushroom mix is very delicious for me. Time to put all of it into my entire. Oh, peppers! Peppers! <clears throat> All right, meals. Eat the meals. Still remember the tutorial in Tears of the Kingdom. It's more linear, but better teaches you things. I am um, a little bit nervous about Tears of the Kingdom's whole like Banjo-Kazooie deal it has going on. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, I died. That water was cold. Don't like Tears of the Kingdom, to be honest. I know a lot of people who feel that way. Um, Yeah, it's got very, like, Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts thing going on. From everything I've seen about it. And I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly. Oh, I lost the effects of my delicious, delicious meal. Not a fan either, but hope you like it. Yeah, I will see. I hope I like it too. You know, I did like... I didn't like Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts when it first came out, because in general... Um... <laughs> I don't like games that force me to be too creative unless that's what I'm coming to it for. And I'm not coming to Zelda to be creative. <laughs> and I wasn't coming to Banjo-Kazooie to be creative either. I was coming to those games 
to have a curated experience. But um But we'll see. Not as magical as Breath of the Wild, but it cuts out the drawn out travelling. Okay. Yeah, oh, I, I didn't finish what I was saying. When I came back to Nuts and Bolts uh, a couple years ago, I actually did really enjoy it. I think that's why I came back to it more expecting what it was going to be. Because the first time I played it, what I was looking for was uh, a 3D platformer, and that's not what it was. <laughs> Um, so I was disappointed with it. But when I came back to it, like, 20 years later, knowing what it was going to be, I enjoyed it more. So, we'll see. Hope they'll do some linear Zelda games too. I also hope so. But things that Alnuma has said make me not too hope. I, I, think, I think it will definitely happen eventually, but I don't know if it'll happen soon, you know? I think we might get some more of these kind of games first because our Numa didn't seem uh... our Numa didn't seem to understand why people would want <laughs> more linear Zelda games so I think we would need some more people asking for it before it happens hmm Can I just go around this water? Oh! <laughs> I got frozen stiff. Prefer the less linear Zelda games? Yeah, I, um... I like it. I, I think, um... You need a balance. Because I'm the same, like, uh, Skyward Sword is the l most linear Zelda game, and it's my least favorite. It's, like, way too linear. I think, for me, this one's, like, a little bit too open. Um, and I really love this as a game. But I would also like some stuff that's more in the vein of, like, Wind Waker and uh, Ocarina of Time that give you the freedom to like explore a huge world but also do have a curated story happening you know because i think ooh, the issue i have with this one as much as i love it is that there isn't oh my god i'm so bad at this there isn't much plot in this one because they don't know what order you're gonna experience things in so they have to be really careful about how they place everything <clears throat> and it means that all of the interesting plot in this game happened like a hundred years before the start of the game. So like pretty much all the cutscenes are just flashbacks to things that happened a hundred years ago that you can't have any influence on. And I think that is a shame. And obviously I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom so I have no idea if that's similar but... Okay, I can get across here more easily. Now I need Magnesis. Can I like rotate it or? Um, can I climb that? <laughs> Is that too steep? All right, yeah, I did it. Can I turn it? I must have just not found the right button for that. <clears throat> I'll go back to the thing you like when you can have this new thing you don't like as much but is bigger. Yeah, I think he just didn't understand why people might want the previous one. I think the thing with a lot of game designers is that they don't... Um, think of story as all that important. Especially a lot of Japanese ones. Because they tend to, like, design the game and then sort of put the story in afterwards. So I think the people who want more of a story experience in Zelda... Um, I think he's just kind of like, oh my god, stop! That's not, that wasn't what he was like, that's what I'm like. <laughs> I'm gonna die! Alright, I'm not gonna fight these guys. Screw them. 
I don't want to have to do all this again. <clears throat> it's kind of a mix. Yeah, I think I just would have liked this more if it had um, more of a like cohesive storyline going on. Because the, the fact that it's all spread out and it has to account for you doing stuff in any order kind of means that um, like nothing from one area ever comes back in another area in case you haven't done the area yet. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm explaining myself well. Whoa! That was rude, you guys. Look, I don't want to... Oh, uh, hold on. I'm just trying to find the shrine. There it is. Kenamut Shrine. Alright, here we go. Got a fast travel location. <coughs> anyway. I love this game. Um, but... It doesn't beat out Majora's Mask or Wind Waker for being... I don't know which is my favorite, but it's one of those two. Um, and this game didn't... This game didn't top them. It, 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 maybe it tops them in gameplay. But it doesn't top them in story. And I... The story is very important to me, so... <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I'm going to experience this whole story again, so. We'll see if there's anything. There's definitely, this this game definitely, 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 I don't know why I said definitely three times. It definitely has its moments. Um, like, there are characters I love in this game. Like, um, shoot, I'm blanking on their names. Is his name Sidon? The Zora guy? He's great. Would love to have seen more of him. That's kind of my that's that's kind of my problem. Is that there's there's a lot of characters in this that I love, but I'm just kind of like, man, I wish they were in it more though. But they can't be in it more because the game doesn't know what order you're going to do the story in. <clears throat> Hyrule the the original Hyrule Warriors, that was good. They're both good. I like both Hyrule Warriors a lot, actually. In fact, Hyrule Warriors um, Age of Calamity kind of... I mean, that's got like a, a more linear curated storyline. I would say that has a better story than this does. What am I doing? What did I just get? The freeze one? Yeah. I, I prefer the first Hyrule Warriors, yeah, because uh, because I really loved seeing all the characters. The the second one just doesn't quite have that, like, you know, oh, it's Darunia, you know, and whoa, Tingle's here now. <laughs> I can play a Skull Kid. I'm kind of like. I've been tempted to get the, what do they call it, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition that's on the Switch. Because I've only played, um, I've only played it on the Wii U. And I know that for the um, 3DS version, they added an extra storyline, didn't they, with like, involving the Tomb characters and stuff. And um, and I was mad because although all of those characters from the Wii U, uh, all of those characters from the uh, 3DS version were added to the Wii U version as DLC, the storyline and the new maps weren't. So uh, I was mad about that. 
takes ages to 100%. Yeah, I I spent so long trying to do the like challenge maps. I don't think I finished even one of them. There's like four or five challenge maps, I think. And I don't think I finished even the first one. Because it takes forever to upgrade your characters to where they're strong enough. I would love to go back to it though. But did they, um... Did the Switch version like ease up the grinding or, or something? <clears throat> 100% world record is like a thousand hours, wow. I hope they didn't do it all in one stream. <laughs> Did, was there a Windows noise? My phone has started making Windows noises despite it not being a Windows phone. Hold on. I should have muted this. I should have muted this a while ago. Oh, Mel's texting me. Mel's at, um... Mel's at Magfest. <clears throat> so she's texting me Magfest things. And all I saw, I didn't, like, look at everything that she'd said, but I just saw the words by you, Billy, in the text preview. So I don't know. She's found... A copy of Bayou Billy or something. You can get level 4 plus weapons easily for some characters. The Grand Travels map is kind of nuts. I, d I, I probably will eventually get the Switch version. I, I think I want to. Because I really loved Hyrule Warriors. With this you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> oh, extraordinary. <laughs> That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Hmm. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross, there I will be waiting. And now that's where we realize that he's dead and a ghost. My cold resistance won't let me step in that water, will it? No. I'm not that cold resistant. <clears throat> um, there, that's the button I want. Where they intersect. At the Temple of Time? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it's funny how, um, I don't know exactly what the cultural, I mean, I know it's a Japanese thing, but I don't know what the cultural origins exactly are of the, like, like, little ghost fireballs, you know? But any Japanese thing, you see those little wavering fireballs and you're like, oh, it's ghosts. <laughs> it's a ghost. Everywhere in Yokai Watch. It sure is, yeah. God, I love Yokai Watch. I gotta get more of the games. I've only got the first one. But it's such such a good game. <laughs> <clears throat> Isn't that just the soul? Yeah, I guess so. I I don't know what it is though. I don't know why it is that Japan always depicts it like that. Like every Japanese thing with ghosts. Um, always depicts it that way. Have all four released in English? Did they ever release the Switch one in English? I know people were like waiting for it for a long time. Favorite right now is Noko. My favorite is oh, what is her name? She's like a skeleton 
with blo with blonde hair. <laughs> She's great. <clears throat> and she has like a red dress. Ratel, yes, thank you. That's my favorite. I also really like um I can't, I can't remember the names of the ones that I really like. It evolves from Q Pistol, I think. Or maybe it is Q Pistol. No, I, I think it's the evolved one. But I can't think what it's called. It's been too long since I played. Casanova, yes, that's the one. Oh, and the blue one ca is Casanono, right? I spent so long searching for a Casanono, and I could not find one. I spent hours searching for it. And I never came across it. I really wanted it, though. Hey, where are you hanging out, old man? I'm here. <clears throat> I think the thing I loved the most about, uh... Yokai Watch was how accurately, not accurately, how, how immersive they managed to make the world, even though it's like a 3DS game. The the world map is like so well designed and has so much attention to detail that you really feel like you're wandering around this Japanese neighborhood. It was really good. Do you know the Yokai Watch's dance? No. Which one? There's loads, isn't there? We've covered, we've, we've talked about the Yokai watch anime on uh, the podcast um twice now so we've we've watched two episodes of it and uh i think we did both of them for halloween <laughs> um we have a new episode recorded i we haven't done an episode since christmas the Christmas special was the last episode, but we have one recorded uh, for this weekend. And I haven't finished editing yet. I'm not going to tell you what it's about, though. There are three... In three, there are two boss yokai you can befriend, but they're random chance, and you have a random chance of showing up in a once-per-day side area. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how, uh, like, a lot of these, like, monster taming games, I don't know why, but I, I feel like, um, besides Pokemon, it it's, can be so difficult to get the monsters you want. Like, it's it's pretty easy to get the ones you want in Pokemon, as long as they're in the game. But, uh... Like, uh... Dragon Quest monsters, it was so luck-based. And even some of the Pokemon, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, it's like... Incredibly luck-based. <laughs> Getting the ones you want. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being, so tell me what it is that you desire. I'm going to take a heart container, because I know that's the most important thing for getting the Master Sword. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Oh! Mm. I like that it made Link jump too. <laughs> the blessing of the goddess has made you that more, much more resilient, I see. <laughs> here I am. Get up here quickly. I was so tempted to say Rocky like a hurricane, but I decided not to. <laughs> How do I get? You know what? I'm pretty sure there's an easy way out there. I think... 
The first time I played this game, I like scaled the wall all the way with great difficulty. Yeah, here we go. And then when I came back down, I found this ladder. <laughs> Ah, uh. <laughs> same. Good. I'm glad it wasn't just me. I felt so much pain in that instant. I remember finally getting up there, and I was like, "My God, that was so hard. Why would they put such a hard climb at the start of the game like that?" And then I saw the ladder. <laughs> <coughs> Where is he? There he is. <clears throat> oh, even in red and blue, getting Dratini was easy if you knew where to look. Yeah. Yeah, most of the, like the Safari Zone. The Safari Zone was the most luck-based thing in Pokemon, and they and they'd never done it since. <laughs> well done, there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. Is everybody British in this game or is it just the royal family? I can't remember. Zelda and his dad are both the great British. Calamity I don't remember was merciless. everyone else is. It devastated everything in its path, lo. A century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened. 100 years ago. You know, I'm realizing that I don't think I actually ever played the DLC no for Age of Calamity. I should. One must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. This is such weird drawings. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a <coughs> sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. Duty. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning. He responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He 
appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle. But Seized nay. control of the Guardians <laughs> and the Divine Beasts. Turn them against us. <clears throat> the champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely walked and lapsed while defending the princess. The Guardians thus, are so cool. The kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Okay. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. <laughs> there you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the road that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise <clears throat> location of Kakariko you, Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, Bless of the, the road wild. proceeds north. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Go on, here's the paraglider, just as I promised. So it's funny, like, he was doing a British accent. It's clearly an American actor doing a British accent, but there were a couple parts where he pronounced words wrong. And then, like, the reason I was, like, shaking my head beca is because he said earlier on in his speech, he said castle. Which is wrong for an English accent. But then, like, towards the end, he said castle correctly. So I was like... Okay, so you messed up on the earlier line and you didn't do a retake? <laughs> do a retake! Read the line again. <clears throat> With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. Hmm. <laughs> I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. I think he should have had a deeper voice. I think that about Ganondorf, though. Well, I, I've seen, like, one clip of Ganondorf from Tears of the Kingdom. And it's 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 Matt Mercer, right? <clears throat> and I, I like Matt Mercer. Is that even who it is? I don't even remember anymore. It's someone. It's someone that I like and is fine. But like, his voice just wasn't deep enough for Ganondorf, I don't think. It didn't sound right to me. Ganondorf should have a real deep, booming voice. Alright, let's go. Let's go see Impa. We are going to do what he suggested. I am going to try. I'm not going to... 
I'm going to try not to get too sidetracked. I am going to try to stick to the um, the plot because I've done this this game before. It doesn't hold anything new for me. I've a hundred percented it already. But we are going to have to get sidetracked a little bit if I want enough hearts to get the Master Sword. But I, I want to save all my, like... When I play Tears of the Kingdom, that one I haven't played before. So Tears of the Kingdom is going to be a much more explorative, slow process than this one is. Ganondorf's French voice is Barrett from the... Oh, is it? That's interesting. <clears throat> I wonder what Ganondorf's Japanese voice sounds like. I bet it's a lot deeper. I'm getting sidetracked already. What the hell's that? What? Oh, I forgot about those guys. <clears throat> Any awake guardians down here? Oh, that's what I was going to say. They, they've they tried to make this a scary Ganon. Like, the big purple cloud floating around the castle. But personally, I think the Guardians are, like, way scarier than Ganon is in this game. The Guardians are terrifying. Yeah, I love the how peaceful this game can be as well. It's very nice. It's a very pretty game. I think this is probably the prettiest of all the Zelda games. Like, it's a real nice world to just exist in. This would be fun to play in VR. Just, like, wander around. Alright. Oh, great. How do I use the bow? There we go. <laughs> Didn't fly as far as I thought it would. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Do I even have a... I don't even have a weapon equipped right now. Sneak up on him. What's he gonna do? He's yawning. You tired? Maybe I should just slip by. I don't need to kill anyone today. Pacifist run. Uh oh. Well, alright, fine. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Oh, I died. <laughs> um. All right. Where was the last save? <clears throat> that didn't go so well, did it? Oh, it was here. What? Th Am I crazy or did that just say Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Wh <laughs> Why did it say Xenoblade Chronicles 2? It's a free update. So it did say that. I'm not having a stroke. What did it mean? Oh my god, these guys are really strong. <laughs> you can have Rex's outfit. Oh, so it was like... Telling me about... I thought it was saying that's where I was. Because it was like the same way the text comes up when you reach a new location. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean I met Xenoblade Chronicles 2? <laughs> you don't see anything. <clears throat> oh. 
Alright, I don't think I'm powerful enough to uh, take on these guys around here. Uh-oh. Oh, he saw me. Save me, flamingos! Are you herons? I think they're herons, actually. No, I'm just gonna run. I, I'm not... I'm not strong enough. These guys kill me in two hits. Oh! I can use the contents of this shrine to get stronger. <clears throat> yeah, when it when it came up and it said Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I had that thing where I was like, you know, sometimes you see some text and you read it as something else. And then you read it again and you're like, oh, that's what it actually said. My brain just like assumed that's what I was doing and I was like, <laughs> I thought first, I, I was gonna say, I thought that said Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for a second, and then as it faded away, I was like, wait, did it say Xenoblade Chronicles 2? And I guess it did. I don't remember how you... How do you use the... Ability controls? Oh, just that, huh? How do you use the glider? I don't remember. X? Oh, okay. You just have to not have ground underneath you for it to work. Thank you, Zelda. I do like things like this. I've always liked the wind puzzles in uh, in Zelda games. It's up here. Oh, that's just to go back. I don't want to go back. Oh, wait. There's no wind down there, though. Wait, how would you do that? How do you get there? Hmm. Nope, that didn't do it. <laughs> there I go. I have Xenoblade Chronicles 3 now. Haven't unwrapped it yet. We'll, do, we'll be doing that at some point. I'm not going to bother with that chest. Who cares? No, who cares? Stop caring about it, Mike. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, this is the first game that didn't ask me my name at the start, huh? Yeah, the shrines are cool in this game. <laughs> that sage looked like he was contemplating his life choices. It's like, ah, oh, should I? Why am I here? Should I still be doing this? I don't even believe in the goddess. <laughs> I'm out of here. <clears throat> Just want to fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I got one orb. You need four, right, to get an upgrade. Definitely need.
some new clothes, I think. If I want to be able to survive the enemies we're coming across now. Stamelish room. What am I hearing? Just the fire from these torches, I think. Someone on the bridge. Wait, I don't think it's a human. It is! My first alive human. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's badder than most. What are we looking at? The volcano? We're doomed! I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, these, these strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about those mushrooms here, I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Uh. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here! With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Oh! He means the Guardian. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, that Guardian is worth watching. It's just like the ones from those old stories. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. You think it was my lightning-fast reflexes that saved me? <laughs> I wish. Truth is, I got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. That was great. I love stuff like that. I wish this game had more just like random conversations with people. Because that's, a, that, that's a, an issue I had with this game. Is that there aren't really that many like settlements. Most of the towns you come across are destroyed. There aren't that many people around for you to talk to. And, um... I know... It's that way for a reason. But I still thought it was... A shame. You know... I wanna say... <laughs> I wanna say it made the game feel really lonely. But it's not like they accidentally made the game feel really lonely. It's supposed to feel really lonely. So I can't fault it for that. But, uh... But what conversations are here are really well written. Like, I really liked that one. That was cool. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna head for that tower, obviously. This mountain here... Which is really cool environmental storytelling, by the way, because... Uh, if I remember rightly, this used to be a whole mountain and it was, like, carved in half by... One of the guardi- uh, not one of the guardians, by one of the, um... Divine Beasts? Yeah, that one over there, I think. Maybe? One of them. Like, used its big laser beam and carved this mountain in half, I think. If I remember rightly, it's been a long time. <clears throat> um, but I spent so long on this mountain because I was trying to get... I wanted to upgrade all of my um, clothes all the way. So I was up on this mountain watching for... Um the f stars falling, because you need loads of those falling stars. What? Oh, come on. Oh, I thought that was going to be really cool. <laughs> okay, okay. 
I'm still learning the controls. Ow. Okay, there's my back play. Okay. Oh. Ow, my shield! Missed. Oh, I still died. I thought I was doing so well that time. Ugh. Obviously, I just need to avoid fights more. <laughs> Oh, his friend killed him. <laughs> I was aiming for the front one, but then the one behind it killed him for me. And, uh... And I, I hit the one behind that I wasn't aiming for, so that was fun. That was great. There's some grasshoppers. Oh, they jumped in the water and scared themselves. I guess I did hear a frog earlier. I spent a long time taking pictures of wildlife in this game, I remember. For the uh, encyclopedia thing. just say <laughs> that was an accident god damn it I wanted to throw the spear <laughs> go away Sword for sure. Don't have it. Too many. Whoop! What was that? Who's. Oh, there's one back there in the trees firing arrows at me. Alright. <clears throat> Don't want that. How do I drop stuff? Oh, I guess I can do it from this menu probably. <clears throat> I can't figure out how to throw weapons. I've only done it once by accident. Drop. Drop. Oh, and shields. Um. Yeah, I don't need this part lid. Thanks for the free arrows. Pick up all the little bits and pieces that your friends dropped. Oh, look at this. Hmm. 
Knew it. We found our first Korok. Ah, <clears throat> you found me, huh? You're not Hestu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see children at the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. I'll try not to be. Three arrows. Ow. That's what you get. Alright. <clears throat> I killed them all. Now I can open that chest. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to open that chest. Ooh. Oh. There we go. Need to do something about that tiny inventory. It's uh it's too little. Just doesn't look like it's just bokoblins. Oh no, there's a dude out here. Hey dude. Hi. Hey, you a traveler? Grab a spot by the fire if you'd like. I'm a traveling merchant. Name's Giro. Nice to meet you. Crazy times we live in there. I go into the forest all on my own to get my wares. Oh. But there are far safer ways to get them, such as buying them from travelers like you. So, do you happen to have anything rare you'd be interested in selling? Sure. Great, let's see what you got. <clears throat> I could sell these pants. <laughs> oh, 15 rupees? There's way more than I thought I'd get for them. Now it's my turn. Want to buy something? What do you got? Nah, you're good. <clears throat> okay, got it. Thanks for spending some of your precious time on the road with me. Even the areas near civilization are full of monsters these days. Just strolling through the woods can be dangerous. You be careful, you hear? Thanks, Giro. Something up that tree, I saw it. It's an acorn! Yeah! For some reason I really want, I keep feeling like jump is B. I keep hitting B when I want to jump. I don't know if there's something else I've been playing recently where B is jump. Is B jump in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Maybe that's what it is. I'm gonna climb that tower. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab that frog on the way. Because I like frogs. Yeah! It's weird that when you're in the water, dash is X, but when you're out of the water, dash is B. What's that about? I might have made a mistake here. I might not be a strong enough swimmer to make it. Gotta get to that rock. Can I do it? 
It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Can I even get back safely? Yeah. I'm gonna cross the river over here where it's thinner. Ooh, what? Oh. Uh oh. No, leave me alone, guys. I'm just trying to get some flowers. They won't follow me in the water, right? Oh, maybe they will. Something just happened. I don't know what happened. All right. <laughs> I did. I found you. See ya. And I made it to this. Ugh, there's keys over here. You know, think, I'm thinking about, still, the whole Xenoblade Chronicles 2 thing that happened. Didn't the people who make Xenoblade also work on this? Didn't they help them? Didn't they help the Zelda team make the world so big or something? It's, oh, you followed me all the way up! You little jerks. spent so much time the first time I played this just like collecting different outfits for different things and switching them constantly so like I had the climbing outfit so that I could climb faster whenever I needed to and the swimming outfit whenever I needed to swim <laughs> Chica Tower activated. Scanning area. Ba -ba 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 Prefer Tales and Tears of the Kingdom? I can't wait to find out. Ah, okay. That's not the shape I thought this map area was. <clears throat> That's why I thought I'd missed a tower further back in that area we've already come through. I thought I'd missed a tower there, but I guess not. I prefer no tower, yeah. It is very Ubisoft. It's funny because even when... Um, even when... Uh, whoops, sorry. Even when this game came out, I feel like... Uh, I feel like they were already... At a point where this idea of like scaling towers to get your map sections was kind of dated. Right? Like, I feel like Ubisoft don't do it anymore. Because everybody made fun of them <laughs> for doing it. I don't know. Shrine nearby. 
Like, I don't know what game started it. The first game I played that did it was the first Assassin's Creed in, like, 2006-ish, probably. I don't know exactly when that was. It's just funny that, like, when Nintendo started doing climbing towers to get your map pieces, it was after everyone else had stopped doing it. Rush room. Oh yeah, Flint. I remember using flint for lots of different things. Light fires and stuff. Ah, uh, here we go. I was right to be up here. Re-dehi shrine. <laughs> Re-dehi. Hi, my name is Re-dehi. <clears throat> I'd like to take out a loan. You who sets foot in this shrine, I am Rita He. I, in the name of the whatever the heck, the Father and the Spirit and the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. Is this one of the ones that where you have to tilt things? I remember the, the tilting puzzles not working very well on the Wii U. I always wondered if they were better on the Switch. I guess we'll find out. Uh, oh, oh, that was close. Yeah, take me somewhere. No, okay, it doesn't look like there is a tilting puzzle here. I mean, I technically these are all tilting puzzles, but you know what I mean. One where you actually have to tilt the controller. Uh, no. <laughs> that was way too late. Uh, oh, close. Man, I'm not sure. That's definitely wrong. <laughs> that was too early, I guess. There we go. Okay. Blah, da, 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 da. Can I find this? Nope! Well... Do I have to do it again, or...? <laughs> no, okay. Platform's still active. How do I get that chest? Those metal.
What the? What happened? <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Well, at least it's still on the switch. There we go, I can reach that. Oh my god, I'm so bad at video games! <laughs> oh, <laughs> did I do it again? Looks like I have to do it again. I'm not used to having so few hearts in this game. I'm used to having more life to play with. Can't do things as willy nilly as I'm used to. I've got bad clothes and bad hearts. <laughs> Okay. No, I even forgot what thingy I had set. Oh. I selected the wrong one. Take this barrel instead. Alright, now Link. When I set this barrel down, I'd like you to stay on this platform. Boop! Okay. <gasps> I got the climber's bandana! I love this thing! I just put it on, right? I'm not wearing a hat. There, now I have a hat on. <clears throat> I know all about the promise of a hero. Is this one like blowing me a kiss? Oh no, he's, he's doing like this. How many do I have now? Oh, just two. May the goddess smile upon you too. Oh, you're dying. Okay, we were headed this way, I believe. <clears throat> so let's continue. I would like a horse. I think I can get one near here, actually. Oh, another shrine? It's in this direction. I think it might be way up there, actually. In which case, I'm not going to bother. Not right now. Oh, these guys are sleeping. God damn it. Why did he... Whoa! Ow. God damn it. They kill me so fast. Let's 
gotta make a run for it. <clears throat> I need more hearts. Oh, there's a shrine. Hmm. Oh, actually, this is really easy. Hey Elliot, thank you so much. <laughs> How you doing? I'm already having a better time, but not too good. <laughs> Ideally, I would have had like Wind Waker or Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask to follow up Skyward Sword, but this is still a step up. <laughs> I do like this game. It just doesn't feel like a Zelda game. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am HA! The Hammer! In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. I don't know what he's laughing about. Alright. Doing good? Good. That's good. That's a good thing. I'm tired. I think I'm still not... God damn it! I can't get used to the controls. I can't get used to it. I was trying to jump. I, I hit what I thought was jump and I pulled my weapon out instead. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know what it is. It's something else I've been playing, obviously, that has a completely different control scheme. It probably is Pokemon. That's the last thing that I played on, on here. Oh, oh okay. Can't walk on that part. Uh huh. So that's the ball I need. Why am I here? Here we go. Oh. Good one there too. There we go. <clears throat> I'm good at puzzles. Short one. I, I thought there was going to be another thing. I guess all these early shrines have been quite short. I should have known that this was going to be all about using the freezy, the freezy beam because that's what I needed to use to get in here. That's what, I, that's what I'd do. In, in real life, if I was in this situation and there was like an orb coming that was going to go in my chest, I'd just be like, <laughs> Oh, I feel like you gotta. You gotta just munch the orb. Just munch the orb, Link. I only need one more and then I can get another heart.
Oh, the spikes are gone. That's good. I was wondering how I was going to get out. <gasps> Is that Beetle? I actually completely forgot he was in this game. <laughs> Beetle! Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. The name is Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. See you, Zelda. Have a great evening. Can I help you today? What have you got? I'm sure I have something you'll find useful. Please have a good look. Yeah. Thanks for the business. Did you need anything else? Oh. Uh, no, I don't want to sell anything right now. No, I'm fine. Thanks. <clears throat> I need to get a sense of like what stuff I need before I start selling stuff. Good morning. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget that the world almost ended years ago. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. I know all about them. I don't. I just don't want to speak about them. <laughs> oh, uh, have you noticed it's mostly twins here at this stable? It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> I've noticed apples. I was thinking about taking one of those apples. Apparently anything lying around here is up for grabs. Oh. Thanks for telling me. Take all of it. Wood? Yeah, I'll take wood. Look at these goats. I like them. <gasps> Dog! I don't have any... I don't have any food that a dog would eat. I don't have any meat. Sorry, dog. <clears throat> hey, Shibo. You think this nosy guy right here is interested in horses? Aww. Looks like it to me, Darton. Judging from his eyes, he's just itching to get into the saddle. You're right. He's got eyes that just say, like, nothing in this world matters to me except horses. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it's canon that Link loves horses. This isn't the only place that that's mentioned. <laughs> that means... That means... That means we got ourselves a customer. <laughs> Howdy, Mr. Man. Welcome to Dueling Peak Stables. Or, welcome to the front of Dueling Peak Stables, I guess. You really can tell just by looking into his eyes. Bro, his head is just filled with horse stuff, right? <laughs> That's right, just look at his eyes. Right now in his head, it's all horses. Horses, horses, food and horses, right? <laughs> in that case, you should feel free to ask us anything at all about horses. <laughs> Do you want to hear some tips to help you master your horse? Yay or nay? I didn't just think of that joke, by the way. That's one of my dad's jokes. Yeah, how do I catch a horse? Wild horses get scared easily, and if they notice people near them, they'll take off. Just sneak up on them from behind real slow. When you get good and close, <laughs> grab them and jump on quick. If you crouch and sneak up quietly, they won't notice you. Dad told us a lot. Just leave the horse in around to us. Good horses. Horses with spots on them are even-tempered and easy to train. On the other hand, horses that are all one color, like straight white, straight black or white, are a bit more wild and harder to train. But a one-color horse has more stamina and runs faster, right? Dad said they're hard to handle at first, but if you spend a lot of time with a one-color horse, you'll be best buds. Dad also said that beginners should start with spotted horses. When I grow up, I'll ride a one-color horse, though. <laughs> hey, mister, you get all that? <laughs> Dad taught us a lot. Leave the horse around to us. How do I train it? <laughs> They're really wild, so they run in different directions and buck here and there because they aren't trained yet. When that happens, you've got to soothe them. <laughs> but Dad also said that just constantly soothing them won't do at all. The trick is to soothe them when they do what you want them to do. It's like saying thanks to them for a job well done. <laughs> Hey, mister, you get all that? 
Okay, alright. No, I'm fine. Okay. So we're gonna catch a horse, obviously. Hey! <clears throat> Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, yeah? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the Dueling Peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So where are you heading? Both Kakariko Village and Hateno Village are nearby. Wild horses? Mm. Huh? Did you not see any horses on your way here? Certainly not as many as in years past, but there still are quite a few around. Horses in the wild are, well, wild. No one has trained or cared for them. If you manage to catch one, let my brother Tessa in know. He'll register the horse for you. My boys are wellsprings of information about horses, so feel free to pick their brains. Leave it to Rensa to tell you about the roads around this area. Okay, where's Kakariko? Oh. Kakariko Village is the village where the Sheikah clan lives. Oh. It's said that some time ago they had advanced techniques that were more powerful than anything anyone had seen. But that power put them at odds with the king at the time, and they were scattered across the land. Anyway, if you leave here and follow the road straight to the north, you'll find a big bridge. Cross that and keep following the path, and you'll come to the Kakariko Village Gate. Alright, so we gotta head to Kakariko. Everything looks just as it always has, but the effects of the Great Calamity still linger. For example, a lot of monsters come out at night, so be careful when the sun sets. I remember being really disappointed when I caught myself a skeleton horse and brought it back here, and they wouldn't let me register it. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought here. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of the Blood Moon. Blood Moon? No. You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. Oh. And that's what is known as the Blood Moon. Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Uh -huh. If you learn anything about the Blood Moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Huh. I don't know if I ever did come back and tell him anything. Maybe I did. Alright, where's some horses? There's some horses. Man, I can't really tell what color they are with this lighting. Come on, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. That's the one for me. <clears throat> what are you getting so windy about? Getting a bit close for my comfort. Ah, that's the one I want right there. Mount! Um, what do I do? What was I supposed to do? It said I'm supposed to only soothe when it's doing what I want. I didn't want it to be bucking like wild. Maybe those kids lied to me because they didn't want me to get their horse. Do I just not have enough stamina to get this horse? Is that the problem? I got a mash L? Okay. So those kids lied to me.
Oh, just. Come with me, horse. Oh, he's so majestic and perfect. I love him. Thanks, Juno. <laughs> I would not have figured that out that quickly if you hadn't told me. Hold on, hold on. Hi. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Huh, I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? I don't. Ah. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you can catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch a wild horse? I'm riding one! Oh, pardon me, let me start over. Hey. Welcome to our stable. If you've come with a wild horse, you can register it with us here. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please head to the counter inside. So what'll it be? Register horse. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the one. Not a problem. Uh-oh. Charge a registration fee. I hope I have enough. 20 rupees! That's fine. Ah. Oh. Alright. Wait here, horse. I gotta go find a merchant. <coughs> Did that horse just drop from the sky? Don't wander off. Hey, you're my horse. Alright, I'm riding this horse in here. Oh, I can't. Any you selling things? I've got this coupon Misko's treasure and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Prison, hang on. Hey buddy, what's your problem? You aren't really- <laughs> you aren't being incredibly rude and in listening to our conversation, are you? We're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Huh? Priston, you're going to give it all away! Ah. Sorry, Dak, I got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. No, I don't have uh. enough money. Uh. She's not selling anything, is she? Uh. Uh. Oh, she gave me a free elixir. <laughs> not what I wanted. Oh, there's Beetle. Hey. Come on, horse. Oh, that's just that guy. Hey, Beetle, where you been? It's me again. I'm selling. What can I get five rupees for? I know what, just take all this amber. All of them. Wow. Yeah. There's plenty of money. Alright. There we go. Okay, I got decent cash now. No, not you. I'm trying to target the other one. Really wants me to target this guy. There we go. Hey. Register horse. Oh. Yes. Oh. 
There we go. And my horse's name will be... Um... Uh... Krung... Krung... Krung! Oh! Yes. No, I'm taking it. Ah. Mm. By the way, you get if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Ah. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's why I thought that whistling wasn't all that useful. <laughs> because you... <clears throat> I remember there was a time when I was whistling for my horse, and I could see my horse, and it wasn't very far away. And I was whistling, and the game was like, your horse is too far away. So I was like, alright, why bother then? Let's go. We're on a horse adventure. Good horse. I want to read this sign, horse. Okay, so Kakari goes that way. Hateno is... Is Hateno... I think Hateno is the place where you can get a house, right? But whatever, we're going to Kakariko. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on. Behave. Hey, hey, hey. That's it. God, I love this horse. I would die for this horse. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. What's that? Just a stump, I guess. Pick up some... Uh... Plant. I didn't stop for the plants, but since I'm here, I might as well grab them. Hey. You're lost, aren't you? Oh no, it's okay. Everyone gets lost from time to time. The Dueling Peak Stable is to the south and Hateno Village is to the east. If you have a map, look at it as you travel. It's too bad there isn't a map to life, you know? Tell me about it. I wasn't lost, but I appreciate that. See ya. I come on, come on. I understand what the kids meant now. They meant like once you, once the horse isn't bucking you off, then you have to soothe it when it's doing what you want. So they didn't lie to me. I just didn't understand what they meant. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Hester. God, I remember the first time I found Hester here. I was like, what the hell is this? Shalaka? You! You can see me? I can see you. Shalaza! Shalaka! It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, he's great. I love him too. Ow! Uh. Oh, come on! You guys are so rude. There's a... There's like a dodge system, right? That the game hasn't told me about yet. Or is it just jumping? Ow. Ow. 
don't know why I started crouching. That wasn't on purpose. Ow. Guts. <laughs> All right, there we go. Right where I left you. Yep. Who's that? Oh, it's a heron <laughs> watching me. <clears throat> I saw the boy in the heron last week. I liked it. <laughs> Shalakala, those are those are my maracas. Please give them to me! Shalaka! But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? Shoko. If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory and expansion, so let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Yeah, I have some, actually. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. But wait, do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. <coughs> Shalaka, so which stash do you want more slots in? Let's say weapon. I want another weapon. There we go. <laughs> Your weapon stash has been expanded. Shalaka. I still smell Korok seeds on you. Want me to expand your inventory again? Bow stash. Oh yeah! Shaki Shaka! Not that I found that many bows. Maybe I should have upgraded the shield stash. Because that seems to be the smallest of the stashes. Your bow stash has been expanded. Oh, look at the time. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Shoko. Sorry, I have to go. But I, s but I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. Who is Grandpa? <laughs> I don't remember a Grandpa Korok. Oh, he's probably talking about the Deku Tree. Is there a Deku Tree in this game? This one's obvious. <laughs> All right. Wait, do I have a hammer? Oh, Do I have anything to smash it with? Shrine nearby, is it? Oh, where are we going? Come on, come on. Oh. 
Crumbling cliffs is a challenge on a rainy day, even for an old hand like me. Best to just wait out the rain on those days. Oh, crime, climbing cliffs, not crumbling cliffs. <laughs> I'm selling a few things I've picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost a look. Yeah, what you got? This is my finest stuff. Ingredients guaranteed to give you a boost of vigor when you're out on the road. No, it's okay. Thanks. Need anything else? No, thanks. You take care out there, bug it. You bug it. <laughs> oh, that was one of those gold beetles he was selling. For a lot of money. Alright. You can wait here, horse. Good job. Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Mm, let's see here. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Say, Traveler. Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see. <clears throat> oh. Yes, I see. That Sheikah slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of legend. Though there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Impa. Where is she? Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. <laughs> I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Oh, that's cool that she just, like, knew who I was and was immediately just, like, cool with it. I do really like the writing. Like, what writing there is in this game, I really like. I think that's my big problem with this game, is that I love the writing and I just wish there was more of it to love. That's a mighty fine pumpkin. You'll get in big trouble if you take it without permission. Come back when the owner is here. Uh... Enchanted is open for business every day of the year. Oh my, look at that face. You are totally my type. Hi. Oh, and you even have a Sheikah slate on your hip. Wait. Huh? A Sheikah slate? But isn't that, like, an incredible thing that only incredible people can have? I'm not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. Thanks, Lasley. You too. Oh yeah, the artist guy! Hmm? Are you... Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me. I hear there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow some kind of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. These villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me are treated with suspicion. But I won't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find out anything, I'll be sure to let you know. What do you mean? You are clearly a Sheikah. He's acting like he's traveled here. And like he's not one of these people. But he clearly is one of them. He's got all the... he's like wearing their outfit, he's got the hair color and everything. You there! Who are you? You dare trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. It's so, like strange that these oh wait 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 before i go in uh let's make an offering is this a korok i actually can't remember i feel like you get something for it it is a korok okay <laughs> <coughs>
A man! Huh? Is that... It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Li... Lin... Um... Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa... Pa... Pai... Oh, my name is Paya. Whew, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting for your return ever since I was little. Pl please hurry inside. I forgot I was dressed like that. <laughs> so, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Oh, this hits different after having played Age of Calamity. Oh. What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Oh. I see, so you have lost your memory. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Mm. A hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting one hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Uh, I'm ready. The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you. I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? Sure. Ha! <laughs> Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. Can it be voice acted? I would love it if it could be voice acted. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of... Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons <clears throat> called Guardians. 
The divine beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land, and thus the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. So this has to be like... 10,100 years after any of the other Zelda games, right? At least. Because he was already Calamity Ganon 10,000 years ago. So there's more than 10,000 years between this and whichever Zelda game <laughs> is before it. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Oh. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast... Varadunia, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Vamedo, controlled by Ravali of the Rito. The divine beast Varuta, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the divine beast Vanaboris, controlled by Obosa of the Gerudo. Yeah. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the divine beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these divine beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Oh. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Uh. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Understood. <clears throat> I know where Hateno Village is. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. I did it! I sought out Impa. Alright. Well, let's head back to Hateno. Where are you going, Paya? Mm -hmm. Link, are you leaving now? Darkness and evil are off bedfellows. Beware the roads at night. Is it night? Well, apparently there's a shrine around here. <clears throat> ha! It's rare to see a young lad like you in a village like this. You aren't part of the Yiga clan, are you? Ha! I'm just pulling your leg. You looked so serious, I couldn't help but goad you a bit. We call those who swear allegiance to Calamity Ganon the Yiga clan. They... Well, let's just say they don't take kindly to those who would stand against Ganon. It seems they're active again, ever since that big earthquake the other day. But don't worry, I don't think you're part of that awful Yiga clan. I can figure that much out just by looking at you. Please don't hold it against me. Here, take this in exchange. Fortified Pumpkin? <laughs> Fortified Pumpkins are Kakariko Village's specialty. 
I put my heart and soul into every one of them. They're delicious. If you want more, I can give you some. Just stop by the fields and say hello. Oh, so that's the guy. Ooh. I must be going soon. They'll be waiting for me, my little ones. <clears throat> Where's this shrine I can smell? I can smell it! <coughs> Looks like it's up here. Can I climb all the way to the top? On my meager stamina. There it is. I bet there was an easier way up than this too. But I did it the way I did it. This is the same every time. I don't need to keep watching it. <laughs> I think this... After I've done this one, I'll have enough that I can get another upgrade. Oh, wait. It's the battle one. I am Taloneig. Oh. Well, that shield's rubbish. <clears throat> Okay. Is this going to be a fight tutorial? Dungeon? That's what it sounded like. Could teach me how to dodge properly. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening you can use to strike back. Target enemy, straight jump. There we go, flurry rush. My torch is badly damaged. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Hold on, I gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the flurry rush doesn't work until you've done this tutorial because I feel like I. I thought I had done it <laughs> while I was fighting those four goblins and it just wasn't working. So I thought maybe there was like a dodge button besides jump that I didn't know about. You can repel an attack and parry with your shit. I, how do you... Oh. Well, I messed up. Or maybe I didn't mess it up. No, I think I did. There we go, I had to do it earlier. Are we not? Yeah, I know about charge attacks. That I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, fancy sword. For me? You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. I'm trying. I want to pick these things up. Off the ground. So I guess they gave me that. Oh, there's a weapon probably in that one. I was going to say, I guess they gave me that uh, shield in case I didn't have one. Since I needed one for this trial. But I guess they gave me a weapon too and I just didn't spot it. Oh, that would have been a nice weapon to be using. <clears throat> I 
What do I get from this? Over the test of strength subverts the prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. I'm gonna look up something real quick. Okay, I was right. You do need 13 hearts to get the Master Sword. That's a lot of hearts to need. So I'm gonna prioritize heart upgrades until I have 13 and then I'm gonna start getting stamina upgrades. Cause I want that master sword. Like every Four shrines equals one heart. That's a lot. Apples. Move it, chicken. Anything open at this time? Can I buy clothes right now? Aha! Good evening to you! Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. We exclusively stock the special garments of the Clary Collection. In fact, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. Oh, and we also buy anything you don't need, so just talk to me when you're ready. Okay. Isn't that lovely? It's a limited edition enchanted exclusive. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it also offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. 700? 600? 500? I can afford this. I'm already wearing that one. I'm gonna get this. I need the extra defense. I want the stealth outfit, but I can't afford that. It's so expensive. It's crazy expensive. Rumor mill. Who loves gossip more than a solid three meals a day? Tracy, of course, and anyone else reading this, I'm sure. Today's top gossip spot is the Lover's Pond. Legend says that those who find this pond are sure to also find their true love. Sounds worthwhile to me. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh, I didn't actually put on my new clothes. There we go. Alright, I feel a little bit safer. <clears throat> Maybe you won't die quite as incredibly fast. Uh, yes, give me another heart container. I love that someone's put an apron on. <laughs> I'm gonna! Jeez. Hmm? You need something? I haven't seen you around here before, but there's something so familiar about that face of yours. Oh, yes, I remember now. It was long ago when the calamity hit, but you just look you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. That was me. Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from way back when? <laughs> 
Young people these days sure do like their jokes. If you were really that noble swordsman, you'd have the legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. You see, the thing about that swordsman is, he trained with swift carrots instead of a blade. He strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots too. Are you, do you sell swift carrots? That's what my grandfather always used to say anyway. So I suggest you stop joking around all the time and instead have a carrot and try to be more like the swordsman. Thanks. Looking for carrots? You can buy some over at my old lady's shop. <laughs> okay, he is selling carrots. If you want to be strong like that legendary swordsman, I surely don't mind lending a hand. What's this place? Oh, it's the inn. Okay. I don't need to sleep. Sleep is for people who aren't Link. I was just I'm searching my brain for Link's last name and I was like, wait, he doesn't have one. That's why I can't think of it. Da, 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 da. Hey, you're right where I left you. Alright, we're headed back the way we came. Off to Hateno. You're a good boy. Let's go. Hey, hey, come on. What's up? Oh, did he not want to run because we were in a town? He knew I was trying to break the speed limit. Yikes, I'm sorry. I was having such a beautiful daydream I was completely zoned out. Thinking about rubies and sapphires. Those two gems can be sold at really high prices. They're some of the best gems to sell for serious money. Sorry, I just get so carried away when it comes to gems. Thanks for telling me. My sword is badly damaged. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 come on. I wanted to talk to him, but <laughs> my horse had other ideas. You're a Yiga clan. I can tell. What are you doing? My horse is acting weird. Right, I'm not even going to talk to this Yiga clan person. I know. I know what they're about. Or should I? You know what? Let's do it. I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? I'll pass. What? You're refusing? Why don't you at least hear what i got to say first? The Yiga clan. It's... A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero long thought dead. Mm. I will take your life! Well, that... That changed. Where is it? Ow. Rude. You missed! Hey, you broke my sword with your face. Hey, are you hurting my horse? Yeah, get him! It did a backflip, but it didn't flip back. It happened again. I did a backflip, but it didn't work. Welcome back, Elliot. I You got here just in time to witness my death, but at least my horse got a couple licks in on that guy. <laughs> <coughs> I'm 
I don't know what I was he attacking my horse or did he accidentally oh you've changed race all right well let's go I don't need to I'm not really that interested in fighting the Yiga clan <laughs> I just thought I should do it since it's the first one Let's bug it. Oh. Kakariko Village is just a short jump to the there, but uh, you want my advice? You buy stuff. Uh, blah 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 blah. Whatever. Yeah, you're just trying to sell me stuff. Oh. Welcome back, Juno. What uh, what help did your friend need with Majora's Mask? <laughs> Elliot. Um. Sorry, I just realized it sounded like I was talking to Juno about something that didn't. <laughs> first time playing got stuck in the first temple. Understandable. Do need to start Majora's Mask. It's uh, one of my favorites. Majora's Mask and Wind Waker are my favorite ones. Yeah. Have you already been to the Spring of Wisdom? It is known that Princess Zelda visited the Spring in prayer. I have a great deal of love and respect for her. Huh. Okay, Celessa. too good with puzzles or time limits I would say personally um, I also don't like time limits it's why I've never finished the first Pikmin game because it stresses me out too much but Majora's Mask um, the time limit sounds a lot worse than it actually is like you don't when you're actually playing the game you don't really notice the time limit that much Oh, you think Pikmin's time limits aren't that bad? Then you won't have a problem with it in Majora's Mask at all. Because <laughs> I think the, the the time limit in the first Pikmin game, I find, like, way too... way too restricting. And I don't even notice the time limit in Majora's Mask. So, I think if you're okay with Pikmin's time limit, then Majora's Mask's time limit won't bother you. Because the thing about Majora's Mask's time limit is, when you run out of time, you just reset it and then you have all the time back again which you can't do in pikmin in pikmin when you run out of time you're out of time and the game is over and you have to start again from the beginning <clears throat> oh yeah definitely start with ocarina of time not just for getting a feel for the controls, but also because Majora's Mask storyline is like, it directly carries on from the end of Ocarina of Times, so it's worth doing Ocarina first. There's a tower. Okay, I was looking for one. You know the story? Oh, okay. Never mind then. <laughs> Well, yeah, but, you know, sometimes knowing the story and, like, experiencing the story are two different things. Because there's a lot of things where I, like, know the story of something, but I'm kind of like... Hey, back off. Oh, God. Don't even. I don't even want to fight those clowns. You know, Majora's Mask um, was actually the first thing I bought with my first ever paycheck. Because <laughs> it came out... Um, it came out the week I was doing my first part-time job in high school. And... Um, and I got my paycheck at the end of the week. 
and uh, I was on my way home, and I just uh, bought Majora's Mask <laughs> on the way home with all of the money that I got. <laughs> don't have a job yet instead I have uni yeah I went to uni after that and um, I I didn't have a job I, I had a job while I was at high school but I didn't have a job while I was at uni and I, I couldn't have had one I don't think there's no way I would have been able to work a job and get all my uni stuff done but I was doing animation so the workload was high <laughs> Because <clears throat> when you're studying animation, you don't have any exams to worry about, but you do have a hell of a lot of work to do. <laughs> Where'd that guy come from back there? He just uh, spawned, right? <laughs> just then? Hey, the name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter, if you get my drift. It's a sad story when you think about it. What? <laughs> Is it? These guardians now hunt down the people they were made to protect. Hey, question for you. Do you have any interest in, interest in guardian remains? What do you got? Uh. Nah. Alright. Oh. Thanks, Telly. Telly vision. Thinking of deferring this year and redoing it next year because anxiety and dysphoria doesn't let me learn the things they want to learn myself without teaching me in the lessons. Are you doing game design? I think that's what my brother did. I should know, right? <laughs> he was living here with me while I was doing it. But, um... It, he was on some kind of video game related course, but I don't remember if it was actually game design or not. Am I headed the right way? But, um... Yeah, I think if you... feel like you're not gonna be able to get through at your best um, then maybe deferring is a good idea I maybe should have to be honest because my last year of uni was real hard on me because it was when my, it was when I was just figuring out that I had ADHD actually um, and, uh... And I didn't do as well as I could have. Oh, calm down, sir. He was doing game art, right? Maybe? I don't know. He was learning modeling and Unity stuff, but he was also doing, like, um... He was also learning about, like, coding and, and things like that. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Did he become a teacher in it? No, not yet. He's. <laughs> it hasn't been very long. <laughs> I think he graduated, like, the last year of. Uh... I mean, he had to ask because one of my lecturers looks vaguely like you. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he um he graduated like during pandemic lockdown stuff, so. He's not been out of uni. He's been out of uni maybe a year. I don't know. I've lost track of time. Um, he's younger than me, so he was he was starting uni. I think he started uni like two years after I finished it. And I finished uni nine years ago now. Wow, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> Who are you? Be on your way, you suspicious man. He's 26 right now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Elliot. I didn't know that. I should have. You know, I should have known that because for his 25th birthday, we went to um, Disneyland Paris. And we went to Disneyland Paris because they were also celebrating I think they were celebrating their 30th anniversary and he wanted to be there for his birthday while they were celebrating an anniversary mm -hmm. 
You certainly do appear to be a Hylian like the rest of us. Hylians are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding, winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need at the general store, and the inn is just back there. Yeah, I don't even really remember how old I am, so... Knowing how old my brother is is a tall ask. Oh, there's a train right there. And this is the house that you can buy, right? Or, no, wait. No, that doesn't look right at all. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Model homes. I don't remember this at all. It's kind of cute, though. Not the worst house. Believe I'm ten years older than Danny? I could believe it. I don't feel ten years older than Danny, but I could believe it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, um, I was actually thinking about it yesterday, how, like, I assumed I would feel like an adult by now, <laughs> at the age I'm at, but I'm just kind of like, I don't feel any different than I did 20 years ago. <laughs> Except that I get tired quicker. <laughs> That's it, really. <laughs> Oh, look! There's some real, for real armor in here. Hey. Warm doublet. Cold resistance. Is it worth it, though? Like, I don't have enough money anyway, but... I feel... Why am I, like... I'm getting so f little money. Like, where's all the money at? The only, I feel like the only money I've got in this whole game so far has been from selling stuff. Is that how it is? Welcome, welcome. Everyday clothes, armor for soldiers. We have it all at Ventist Clothing. Did you need something? You like this corner? <laughs> I'm so glad it let me ask that. Oh! Am I nestled too far in the corner? Is it hard to see me? I know it's a little weird, but I just feel more confident over here. That's fine. <laughs> Always had so much trouble with money in this game. I don't remember having so much trouble with money in this game. But suddenly I'm like, where is it all? <laughs> I'm not finding any. Hey! Hey mister, did you come from the big wide world? You look like you're good with a bow and a sword, so you must be pretty strong. Are you strong or what? Yeah. Well, actually, no. <laughs> I bet you can use all sorts of different weapons, right? So, do you want to help a kid's dream come true? My Gramps is dead now, but when he was alive, he loved weapons, though he never got to see all the ones he wanted. So you bring me weapons and show them to me, and then I can tell Gramps about them when I meet him again. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I knew you'd do it. Hmm, where should we start? <laughs> Have you heard of the Traveler's Sword? I've seen it in books, but never in real life before. If you find it, please let me see it. Do I have? I have the Traveler's Claymore. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry, kid. Hello! What great weather. The East Wind General Store is open, and it's just as lively inside there as it is out here. Go take a look. No, that's, that's okay. <coughs> Where is this shrine I'm hearing so much? It's right there. It's right there. I just got distracted by these houses. <laughs> ah. 
it's weird to me to think you know on the one hand it doesn't feel like it's been very long since uni it, f it feels like i was just at uni like five years ago but also like having just realized that i've only known i have adhd for like less than a decade and that feels really weird to me because that i feel like i've known for my whole life because i guess i've had it for my whole life but i haven't known it for very long it's just weird to think like it feels like it feels like uni was like yesterday but it feels like finding out i had adhd was a million years ago Have I ever told the story about how I found out? I, I don't remember if I have. Or probably there'll be pe some someone here who hasn't heard it anyway. But I was... Um, at the time I was living with my ex. She was already my ex <laughs> at this point. But we were still living together as, as friends. Um, <clears throat> and I can't remember what was happening. But I made some joke about having ADHD. And she like laughed at the joke. And then I was playing a video game and she was at her computer, which was like next to the couch. And she she just kind of laughed at the joke, but then she started thinking about it. And she didn't say anything to me, but she like quietly started researching it on her computer. <laughs> and then like maybe like half an hour later, she said, hey, so I looked up the symptoms of ADHD and this list of symptoms is just a description of your personality. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> so I just kind of like am ADHD. <laughs> But that's the funniest thing. And then, like, I went and I, I spoke to my mom about it. And, um... And then she pulled out this old school report from the fourth grade. Which is just, like, textbook description of an ADHD child. And, like, nobody caught it because it was the 90s and nobody cared. <laughs> right, this is the hardest part of this, in my opinion. It's like rolling it out onto the and uh... oh come on and whoop god damn it yeah I hate this <laughs> just so you know uh... oh there it goes right maybe I can cheat I've done that before. Uh, I man once I managed to get it to land in the middle part <laughs> like immediately. But I don't remember how I did that. Oh wait, yes I do. I'll do it next time. I'm gonna try and do this legit. Oh uh, well. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not above cheesing it. Alright, let's see. And... No, it's not fast enough. It's not gonna work. Why are you, why are you like this? And... You! That went over. For sure. Come on. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> Alright. I mean, that's fine. Nah. There we go. I was hearing the sounds of it like bouncing and I was like, where the hell is it bouncing? Because I thought I had overshot the platform and it had gone in a pit. But apparently it was bouncing its way down here. Huh? 
Yeah, made it. I want that chest. What's in here? Ooh, a bow. Okay. You know, I'm glad it didn't take me that long to do it because I this is one that could have easily taken me like half an hour and I could have got really salty. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm like checking more thoroughly for the chests here because I know there are some things you can get in these shrines that you can't get anywhere else. Like I got this hat I'm wearing in one of these shrines. And I think that's the only place you could get it. Take that mask off. Uh, let's skip it. These parts take so long and they... And they don't impart anything new, so... I don't feel bad about skipping it. But yeah, this uh, this school report that my fourth grade teacher had written was like, uh, what did it say? It was like Mike, uh, when when Mike is interested in the subject, he works very hard and uh, is like very bright. But when he isn't interested in the subject, we can't get him to pay attention. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> okay, okay, I've got this. Greeting time. You're a customer, right? My mistake. I don't know about any mistake, but if you don't need anything, move on, okay? I've got greeting to do. Okay, that's the die shop. Mumble mumble. What are you mumble mumbling about? Checking everyone out today, too. The check-in net just never stops. Ever stayed at the Ton Pu Inn? Nope. If you're not staying there, then I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Sounds weird. Your job is weird. <laughs> Whatever it is you do. I know things have been peaceful recently, but the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So I gotta check and make sure if any beauties, uh, I mean suspicious folks have come around here. Beauties. <laughs> if you're lucky enough to stay at the Tanpu Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me if you do. Not that she even knows who I am. This is tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Tanpu Inn would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for my buddy's friend. A gift for my beloved. Hi. That's a really cute old lady. Right? She's beautiful. Yes, good evening indeed. Are you some sort of traveler? That's right. Ah. Well, I'll be. The village has grown to be quite a lively place. I suppose that's on account of things being so peaceful in general. Peaceful? <laughs> Oh yes, when I was a child, this whole region wasn't in a state fit to be sown, much less harvested. Hyrule Castle and Castletown had been destroyed, and all the lovely folks there fell victim to... Well, back in bygone days, we called it the Calamity. But words often fall meaningless when we try to describe tragic events of a certain magnitude. I gotta check out this... this lady... that this guy's in love with. Is this her? Okay, she's cute. Hello. Welcome to Tanpu Inn. A regular bed is 20 rupees, or if you're looking for a more relaxing and restorative mind and body experience, you can have one of our extra soft downy beds for 40 rupees. Never mind. Come back again soon. What do you want for a gift? Ah. Sir, did you need something from me? What do you like? <laughs> Why is he asking? Whatever, I'll just say something random. Ah. I'll tell you something that I really like. Crickets. It's my dream to have my very own collection of 100 restless crickets. As if. Alright. <laughs> well, hey. 
how you like a hundred years old, man. I... I don't know. Did she say... I think she just said, like, when she was a kid, the world had been destroyed. So maybe she was just born into the... destroyed world. But when it hadn't been that long yet. Maybe she's, like, 70. Yeah? What is it? I talked to Prima. What? Prima told you what she wants? Prima never even talks to me. <clears throat> I mean, that's cool, that's cool. So then what is it? She wants cricket. <laughs> Prima wants restless crickets? And 100 of them? <laughs> what a small world. I love rest restless crickets. I'm a connoisseur of them. I think that's what that word means. But catching 100 of them is going to be tough. Think you can help me get started on those? How about you get me 10 of them? I'll get you something nice for your trouble. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> that's how I'm. That's how I'm wording it. Oh wow! Yeah, ten crickets. That would be something, huh? We'll see if that happens. <laughs> I'm going to start wording it like that anytime anybody asks me to do anything. <laughs> hey, I need some help moving house. Oh. That, yeah. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> what a nice breeze. It doesn't carry the tang of salt on it, though. Why would it? Oops. I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about my hometown of Lurelin Village by the sea. The view and the air are different here in Hateno Village, but this is where my wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work alongside such a wonderful, loving man. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small fishing community far to the south. I lived there before I moved here with my new husband. We had to cross the bridge of Hylia to get here, weighted down with everything I couldn't bear to leave behind. Thinking back on it, it's a wonder either of us survived the trip. Yeah, no, it's just like, oh, this man is talking to me. Better mention my husband a lot. <laughs> That's the way I took it. It's like, I get it. You're married. That's not why I'm here. Sir, there's an apple. Sir. Yes? Hello. Hello. What? What is it? I need to talk to you. To me? About what? Who are you? Me? Well, I'm just an old man. Nothing more to it than that. Any other business with me? No. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I really like the writing in this game. <laughs> Some of the conversations that you can have in this game feel like too real <laughs> like that one i'm like just just walk up to this guy out of nowhere and just go who are you and he's like i'm just an old man what do you want with me <laughs> it's great i love it is there really a girl there Oi. safaro have you seen the girl yeah. the girl she won't come out all right. <laughs> it's like the comp like way back when I first left the plateau. That first guy I spoke to as well. That that conversation with him just felt so real to me about the guardians and everything. No soliciting. Oh, I'm going to solicit. I'm going to solicit some illicit business. I'm going to solicit some business that's illicit that I want them to be complicit in. And they won't want to miss it! I like rhymes. <laughs> <coughs> If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot. Do not touch. But what if the flame is red? I, I thought I was going to knock on the door. I just 
two-handed shove it. Oh, whoa, what did I do? What did... Sorry. How did I do that? All right. Hello. This is the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Yeah. Hello. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm? hmm? Is that... That thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. You could just show me the runes on it. Oh, if you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, ah, magnesis, yes, yes. The remote bomb and cryosis, and what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but, hmm, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. Okay, Elliot, I think I'll probably be ending soon. But have a good shower, and if I don't speak to you again... Before you get back... Wait, how would I speak to you again before you get back? You know what I mean. Have a good evening. <laughs> <clears throat> my name is Simon. You are... Link, right? You know my name? <laughs> Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the ho hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. <sighs> Director! Listen, Miss Director. This is a real Sheikah slate. Director? <laughs> oh, that's right. I haven't introduced our Director. <sighs> Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Heteno Ancient Lab Director, Ms. Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it! Check it! I have the utmost respect for Ms. Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see, the Director may look like a young girl, but... Hmm. Well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Ms. Pura herself. Yo, what's the deal? <laughs> Hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon. It's me. Snappity snap. Anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You do still remember me, right? I don't remember. <laughs> really? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Mm. Even though 100 years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection, up, restu resurrection after Calamity Garen, Garen Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration, despite all that, you still don't remember me? I don't remember. Oh. Hmm, as expected. After 100 years in the Slumber of Restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noticed. Noted. Calamity Garen. <laughs> it sounds like a mistranslation, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after 100 years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda, that is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that. 
All right, then. First, I need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah slate for free, did you? I did. <laughs> hmm. Post slumber of restoration, subject is plagued by presumptuousness tendencies. Noted. Presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace? This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh. I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. <clears throat> Alright. Maybe my horse would be useful for this. Or maybe not. Actually, you probably can't light the lanterns from horseback. I don't know. What am I doing? Oh, there it is. I can see it. So, there's a lantern. I know you want to, like, keep lighting the lanterns on the way up to, uh, increase the time limit or something. That's going to be hard. Okay. I have a torch, right? Oh, yeah. Oops. Okay, so I can't run. If I run, he puts the torch away. <laughs> Good to know. the next one it's a long gap between those two okay Hey. You're the same person from before. Mm. Carrying the blue flame, I see. It's been a while since I've seen anyone rekindle it. Is it finally back for good? It was once a common sight to see Ms. Pura of the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab go around setting the lanterns alight. Well, thanks for telling me. There's one up here, too. Oh, moo yourself. So windy. Woohoo. Woo
Okay, so far so good. I don't know why I remember this being difficult. I think I messed this up the first time I did it somehow, but I don't know. Hell. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Wait, wait, wait! Okay. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> I did it. Yawn! Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The Guidance Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. <laughs> My sweet little Guidance Stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. you. Give me a nice snap. Go on, no time to be shy about it. Snap. Mm. Mm, that was pretty weak, but that's okay. <laughs> okay then, Sheikah Slate repair underway. Guidance Stone lock removed. Ooh. Now, let's do this thing. Camera, Hyrule Compendium, and Album Missing Files Confirmed. Starting Repair. I had to, um, authenticate my installation. And now it's reacquiring the missing files. I have to do that on Steam all the time. <laughs> Alright. I got the camera. Oh yeah, this is where you get the memory cutscenes, right? I probably will do all of those. I might as well, right? <clears throat> Repair complete. Like, it's not that much work to find those spots, I feel like. And if I miss any, I can just look them up. And it's done! So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, Album. Yep, looks good. So I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Can I, like, pose? How do you do it? Hmm. Maybe I don't have the ability yet. There. I took a picture of you. Thank you. <coughs> Snap! How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with the camera? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? You know, that's not a very good effort now, is it? <laughs> when you take a picture, you must be sure to center the subject. Got it? Okay, then. Well, you'll just have to start over. <laughs> oh, she didn't want to be in a picture with me. <clears throat> How's that? Oh! Hey, Smoothie! Hey everybody, how's it going? How was your stream, Smoothie? Thanks for the raid. I'm probably going to be ending soon, because I'm tired. But, uh, we're taking pictures. Hey, music lover. <laughs> I love that dino dance emote. It's adorable. Alright, let's see if she likes this picture. I think I might have been too close this time. <laughs> she might not like that. Hmm? My, who is this beautiful young creature? Never mind, I'm thinking too much like it's Pokemon Snap rules. <laughs> huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Aww. Ah, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. A new Princess Zelda has made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all of the places where these pictures were taken. <sighs> oh right, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome. <laughs> but don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. 
If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them either to me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so I'm just going back to Impa now. Pseudo Regalia. Oh, I haven't heard of that. Glad you enjoyed it, though. Yeah, it's been fun. I, I'm hopping into this immediately having finished Skyward Sword, which is my least favorite Zelda game. So, although this one isn't my favorite, it's still like a really nice change of pace <laughs> because I don't like Skyward Sword very much at all. And I'm going to try and blow through this one quite quickly because I want to get to Tears of the Kingdom, which I haven't played. I, I pre-ordered it. I've had it sitting here since it came out, but I wanted to finish this playthrough of like the whole series <laughs> before I did it. So Anyway, I'm just going to fast travel back to... When I played this game like on my own time, back when it came out... Oh, I never found a tower here. Hold on. Is that the tower of this area? Uh, yeah, when I played through this game on my own time, back when it came out, I, uh, didn't, um, use the fast travel that much, at least not in the beginning. I just kind of kept traveling back and forth on my horse, because I figured every journey back and forth was a new opportunity to see something. But this time, I'm going to do more fast traveling because I just want to get through it quicker so that I can play. <laughs> so that I can play Tears of the Kingdom, which I probably will play a bit more slower and more methodically. But I feel like I've, I've already 100%ed this game on the Wii U. I'm, I'm redoing it on the Switch now. I'm, I'm not going to 100% it again. So I feel like I, I've seen everything really that it has to offer. I just want to see the story again. But like when it comes to side stuff, there's some side stuff I'll do. I've done a bunch of. I've been doing every shrine I've come across. But I don't want to. I don't want to spend my entire life on this game because I've got a bunch of other new games that I want to play that I haven't played before. So. Impa! Huh? I heard Pura was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. There are, there's so many new, there's so many games and I got three new ones for Christmas. Ugh. That I haven't even unwrapped yet. I got Mario Wonder. I got Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I got Detective Pikachu Returns. I want to play all of these. But I don't have time. And I still haven't played... I haven't even unwrapped, um, yeah, like, as well as Tears of the Kingdom, somewhere around here, I've got a copy of Metroid Dread that I still haven't played. Oh, there it is. It's over there. So I've got so many things to get through, so I don't want to spend too long on this game that I've already finished. <laughs> now then, let me see. Aha! This is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. Ah. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to at least one of those locations. Oh. There is something I wish to give you. Alright, well... This one feels like it should be the easiest to find, because the castle's right there. Oh no. Okay, so there's always a landmark in the background. It gives you a pretty good sense of where it is. So these shouldn't be too hard to find.
Yeah. Okay, alright. Oh, that one though. That one might be difficult. Makes sense, because it's the last one. Alright. Well, let's go look for this one. Oops. Yeah, it's definitely... My issues with the controls are definitely because I'm used to Pokemon. Because I just hit Y. Um, to uh, try and open my map. Which I'm pretty sure Y is the map button in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Alright, the castle's up here, isn't it, somewhere? So... That view I'm seeing. If I fly here... Fly. <laughs> I'm still thinking of it in Pokemon terms. <clears throat> if I teleport there, um, I think if I just head from here toward the castle, I'll find that spot. And then once I've done that, I'll probably, I'll do that and I'll go back to Impa. Whenever this like quest chain with Impa ends, that's when I'll end the stream and then when I come back tomorrow, we'll do one of the uh, Divine Beasts. And then that's how I'll break it up. And then I'll probably have this game done in like... Five or six streams, which will be half how long it took to do Skyward Sword. No, wait. Oh, that's why I'm not seeing anything. Because the castle isn't in that direction. It's in this direction. Huh. Alright. Go down and have a look around. I don't see anything that looks like what I was looking at in that picture though. Unless it's right here. Is there a stable around? What's that? Choose! Oh wait. Dang. Got both of them with one swing. Alright, that's a lot of jelly. Pokemon Breath version. <laughs> Colomo Garrison Ruins. Uh oh. Oh, it's just this guy. Can't carry any more shields. At least I've seen it. I think when it comes to those little rock guys, hammers are the best. If I remember rightly, I think hammers are the best weapon. For him. hold that here. Why not? Wait, what? Now it's fine? Oh. I genuinely I didn't know what I was doing there. I just knew I was doing something. <laughs> Sorry! Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Didn't mean to drop that rock on your head. Uh, hey, a boy. Rusty, so the arrow means it's better than what I'm holding, does it? I don't remember it having that. Is 
just drop this garbage. I'm going to drop everything that's like poo poo doo doo damage. Oh yeah, look, 12, even though it's rusty. Sure, I might as well equip better weapons. A lot of dragonflies around. I might have bitten off more than I can chew with this. Whoa, look at the size of that duck. That is a big duck. Yeah, I don't think I can swim all the way across this, so I'm gonna take a longer route. Do these guys have a chest or are they just losers? It was an almost human-sized duck. In fairness, Link is a fairly small human. So maybe he's not the best thing to judge against, but look at that chest. Don't mind me. Oh, fish? Oh, really don't mind me. Oh, we having fish? Did I get them all? That fish looks delish. Keep up the good work. What am I seeing? Oh, it's just horses. It's okay. I thought I was seeing... I was a bit worried that I was seeing a... Uh, Lino. It's just horses. They're okay. I'll frolic with them a little bit. Frolic, 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 frolic. That's how I frolic. Oh, you don't want to frolic? Fine. I see how it is. Where the heck is this... You know, I guess the castle's further back than I thought. It could still be... I could still be going the right way. An ill wind is blowing. Tower over there. Very pretty, but also I feel unsafe. <laughs> oh, and I should. There's danger in the in the fields. Alright, let's give that thing a wide berth. <clears throat> Hope it doesn't come this way. Looks like it's just patrolling over there. So hopefully we'll be alright. That's the first, um, act, like, fully active Guardian we've seen. It's the only other one we saw was, uh... Didn't have any legs. It was stationary. Alright. I think we got safely around it. Definitely not strong enough. I don't feel strong enough to fight a guardian yet. I know eventually we'll have to do it. But I would like to have more hearts. 
and more confidence <laughs> before that. Oh, is that another one? No, that one's dead. Or it might just be half dead. Oh, another live one. I think that's the place I need to be there as well, in, in among those trees. Alright, let's see if I can get around this one too. Oh god. Oh shit, it saw me. can leave. No one will mind if you leave. I especially won't mind if you leave. Okay, it's leaving. <laughs> Didn't like that. Whew. <clears throat> I know eventually you can like reflect their lasers back at them and it's great, but I just don't feel ready for that yet. Oh, what was that? Hyrule Herb. I'll get this one too. <coughs> oh my god, how many are there? I just want to get in... I'm stealthy. You don't even know about my stealth. I, yeah, do you know, you know, I know I can do it. I'm just scared. <laughs> I'm just scared of them. I don't feel ready to do it, like, from a skill standpoint. <laughs> like, I know I'm going to get the timing wrong, and, I'm, and then I know I'm going to die, and I don't know how long it's going to take me to get back here. Because I haven't come across any shrines in this whole area. Uh oh. Oh. I could have grabbed him, but I didn't. I think I'm okay. Yes, and that does look like where the picture was in there. They're everywhere. Okay. So, ah, do I just stand in this spot? Trying to remember what's actually like expected of me. Okay, here we go. This cutscene is one of the reasons that my personal belief is that this game takes place after Twilight Princess. And it's because when Zelda's giving her speech in this cutscene, all the things she mentioned are things from the Twilight Hyrule, timeline. Chosen by the sword that Here. seals the darkness. You have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity. And have proven yourself worthy of the blessings of the goddess Hylia. Whether skyward bound, adrift in time, or steeped in the glowing embers of twilight. See? 
The sacred blade is forever bound to the soul of the hero. The only thing she mentioned are we three things that all happen in the Twilight Princess timeline. So, that the two of you and one of them only happens in that timeline. Forged in the long distant <clears throat> Gee, this is uplifting. He's my favorite. He's making it sound like we already lost. <laughs> Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. Don't like Ravali that much. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. Oh, give it a rest. I love her boss, sir. She's that great. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, at least that's how the princess sees him. Does Zelda always have green eyes, or is it just this Zelda? I feel like she usually has blue eyes. Like Link. <clears throat> Yeah, of the champions, um, Daruk is my favorite and Rivali is my least favorite, I think. Rivali is just kind of like worse Falco. I love Falco so much. <laughs> and Rivali is like a, a less good Falco. I think that's why I don't like him, because I, I, I look at Rivali and I'm like, Man, you're not Falco. <laughs> Because Falco is my favorite Star Fox character. And I miss Star Fox very much. Alright, let's go back to Impa. <clears throat> Rivali's just a little bit too much of a dick. You know, Falco's just the right level of a dick. <laughs> and Rivali's a little bit too far in the in the asshole direction. <laughs> Only liked him because Bird. I, I like... I like Ravali's design a lot. I still think it's not quite Falco good. But maybe that's just because Falco's bluer. <laughs> and I do like blue a lot. Obosa's great. Yeah, I really like Obosa. This game just has a lot of good characters. I think one of the reasons I was disappointed with the story in this game is that they give us these four characters who are great, but they're all dead already. <laughs> I think that's kind of a shame. Um, so I love Mifa as well. Mifa is, is very, very cool. But I love her brother too. M Master Link, uh, is anything the matter? Anything at all? Can I help you in any way? What's your story? You, I, me, you want to know my s story? Well, my name is Paya. Th the reason I was named Paya is because I have a birthmark shaped like a papaya seed. Where is it? Well, it's kind of... Yeah. Um, Master Link, I advise you to change the subject. I'll answer you some day, just, just not today. Please don't hesitate to let me know if I can ever be of service. I'm good, thanks. G good luck. I... So... Every link, I, like, ship with somebody. And... Only one time is it Zelda. <laughs> the only link who I ship with Zelda is Skyward Sword Link. This link, I ship with Pyre. I think after his adventure, he settles down with Pyre. Well, I guess I don't know what happens in Tears of the Kingdom, so who knows? Maybe my thoughts will change on that. 100 years ago, Link, I, I shipped with Mifa, but Mifa's dead, so now I ship him with Pyre. <laughs> now that you've seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember hey, hey, certain hey. things. Oh! He'll buy two. Am I reading that right? I think so. Thank you for following. <laughs> <clears throat> Here, 
I will hand this over to you now before I forget. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna wear it. This is something of yours that I have been keeping safe by request of the princess. This clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. I will handle it with my chest against it. What? Inventory. Here we go. Yeah, more defense. That's what I want. Oh, wait. She still wants to talk to me. What else? You may not remember your last meeting with Ganon, but it did not end well for you. If you want a different outcome this time around, you'll need to be properly equipped. Uh, I know all this. I won't fail. <laughs> How strange. To think 100 years ago you wore that champion's tunic every day. I feel as though I've been transported in time. Link, our princess, you must rescue her. There's still a quest marker here. Where is it upstairs? No, it's definitely Impa. Robbie's research. Oh wait, main quest. Oh right, that's just for me to find the rest of the memories. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll find the rest of them as we go. I probably will try and get all of them. Whatever ones I've missed before we go after again, and I'll uh, I'll go back and look for. Them. So I'm thinking. I missed that tower there. If we ever have to go back into this area, I'll get the tower. I'm not going to worry too much about unlocking every tower, though. Um, I'm thinking that... We... Why isn't it showing... Oh, because I don't have the quest set. There we go. So I'm thinking that tomorrow we go after one of these... Um, we'll see, I don't know, either I'll do the closest one, which I'm pretty sure is the Zora one, or I'll ask chat at the start of the stream which one <laughs> we should go for, and I'll let chat decide. We'll see. It depends how many people are here at the beginning of the stream tomorrow. Thanks for being here, everybody. I'll see if there's anybody online that I can send you all to. Hope you're having a great evening or whatever time of day it is for you. Um. No. No, nobody I know is streaming right now. I'm the last one, I guess. <clears throat> um. Yeah, everybody I'm following. Thank you, Score, mate. Everybody I'm following who's streaming right now is like way bigger streamers who wouldn't even notice a raid this size. Because <laughs> they've all got like 2,000 viewers. One of them's got 66,000. Oh, it's GDQ. Is GDQ going right now? Are they at MAGFest? I wonder if Mel's... I wonder if Mel's there right now. Mel might be on the GDQ stream <laughs> in the audience. Uh, anyway. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I will do, you know, I'll do a raid. Usually I don't raid people who I don't know. Um, because I, you know, you want to vet people. Make sure they're okay. Make sure you're not sending people to, like, some kind of mega bigot, <laughs> you know? <clears throat> but um I'll see if there's someone who looks okay who's streaming Breath of the Wild and I'll send you over there uh let's see all right there's a here's a
He's a trans streamer. They're probably okay. I just generally trust trans people. <laughs> Who was that in the raid thing? That was um, Sue from Grandia, my favorite RPG. Uh, that was her one of her um, healing cheers <laughs> that played. Okay, here we go. I think that's. I think I typed the right name. Okay, yes, we're raiding Lady War Willow. I did. I did the wrong thing. I typed the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evenings everybody i'll be back tomorrow with more of this and um and um oh whatever i was gonna plug something but i can't decide what to plug check out my etsy store we have a sale on my valentine's card there that's a plug <laughs> it's 50 percent off right now on the love disc greetings card which is great for valentine's but you can also use it for any occasion because it doesn't say anything on it. It just has a couple <coughs> a couple of love discs on it. <coughs> oh, I gotta go. <clears throat> Everybody say hello to Lady War Willow and be nice. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna go and choke to death off screen now. Goodbye. <laughs>